Hello, and thank you for joining us for today's webinar, the Email and Network Security Opportunity for MSPs. I'm Amber Noble, a Marketing Specialist at Barracuda MSP, and I'm happy to be moderating today's session. Today, I'm joined by Scott Bennett, Director of NA Partner Marketing, sorry, NA Partner Management at Barracuda MSP. Scott brings with him almost 15 years of experience helping IT service providers grow their business. During today's educational webinar, Scott will take us through the full email and network security portfolio from Barracuda MSP and cover how to protect your customers from advanced malware, ransomware, zero-day exploits, and more. Before we get started, let's do some brief housekeeping. During the webinar, if you have any questions, feel free to share them using the questions or chat panel to the right of the Zoom webinar screen. At the conclusion of the webinar, you'll be prompted to complete a brief polling survey. Please take a moment to tell us what you think so we can continually improve the content and quality of our online events. Now, without further ado, I'd like to hand it over to Scott to begin today's presentation. Take it away, Scott. Thanks, Amber. Appreciate the warm welcome. Thank you, everybody, for joining today's webinar. Webinar Really appreciate your time today, taking some time out of your busy days. Uh, today, so want to focus on learning how to protect your customers from advanced malware, ransomware, zero-day exploits, and, and, and more, right? Um, we're going to take you through the, the threat landscape and, and, uh, and explain how it continues to become more and more complex and more widespread. Uh, for instance, in the past, hackers typically targeted an individual person, person or machine, and today hackers are targeting entire companies. They're they're going in either through a, an individual or they're coming in uh, through a machine, but ultimately their, their goal is to take over the entire network. And, uh, and what that means to that business is uh, and can be uh, catastrophic. So um, you hear on the news every day, right, sometimes daily, that there's a new malware attack out there. Uh, if I could look through the phone or through the computer screen at the moment, I could probably see a show of hands, uh, it, probably through through every individual out there, that they've experienced some kind of uh, ransomware or malware incident, whether it be through you, whether it be through your customer. Um, so it's rampant, right? And, and again, we see it in the news every single day. Uh, constant threats new threats, uh, different types of threats like uh, volumetric threats, uh, spear phishing is huge and on the rise. Uh, and one thing that uh, as, a, as a manager for our partners, for our, our MSPs out there, one thing that I, that I sense and that I see is yes, we're very much aware of them, but we're almost getting to the point where we're bombarded by the media and we're starting to forget um, how impactful the, these these attacks can really be, right? We're starting to become almost desensitized to, to, uh, uh, to all of these attacks out there until it actually happens to one of our customers. Uh, but we shouldn't be. Uh, by 2019, there'll be, they'll, statistically, there'll be a ransomware attack on every, excuse me, on a business every 14 seconds. So what that means, and I don't do the math here, marketing helped me out with the math, but what that means is that there'll be 15, if not 20 attacks, just from the time we kicked off this presentation today. Uh, so think about that, right? That's huge. Uh, think about having to run out of here and God forbid and, and, and service a customer who's currently under attack. The money that and the stress that that puts on your business as an IT service provider, let alone what that's doing to your customer, right? And, and again, um, you're, you're focusing now on, on your customer, uh, all hands on deck for your customer. Uh, that's money that's, that's out of your pocket. It's money that, that your customer, if they can't get back up in order, that they're going to lose. And at the end of the day, if you're responsible for your customers and, and their security, there's reputational damage that, that can be incurred in the situation as well. Um, so very serious and, and something that, uh, that we all should, be, all should be taking advantage of in the marketplace today. As mentioned, uh, spear phishing, a huge rise of, of spear phishing attacks today. Uh, these silent attacks where they trick the recipient into doing something like transferring funds on behalf of a hacker, uh, portraying themselves as someone that you know and trust. It, it's, it's happening every single day. 
so where are your customers vulnerable? Sure, we can talk about that. Uh, but what do all of these statistics mean for you and for your customers? Uh, what they mean is that, A, yes, email is, is certainly a, 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 th a threat vector to be reckoned with. Um, your customers are very vulnerable, right? Not necessarily yours, but just customers in general, businesses in general, and they're vulnerable through email. Uh, it means that humans can be naive uh, or simply at risk because of lack of education. I, I always like to tell the story of the time my 78-year-old 70, dad sent an email to me that said, hey, Scott, I keep clicking on this link that you sent me from your scottbennett at yahoo.com domain and, and nothing is happening, right? My dad, I don't consider him a stupid man, uh, but he's uneducated, right? He's 78 years old and, and, and he just doesn't understand it. Uh, it also means that not one product can do it all. Not one product can completely secure your customer. And that's something we'll talk more about today as well. So let's start with um, a, a, a real life scenario. Okay, and, and, uh, and maybe that'll put things into perspective um, and, and, and explain exactly what an attack can do and, and what kind of damages can incur within these attacks. Uh, in April of 2017, the Erie County Medical Center was hit by ransomware. It happened at 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, the emergency room workers started seeing ransomware notes announcing the hospital's files had been encrypted. And an hour and a half later, the medical center's IT team made the decision to shut down all the systems. And from that point forward, uh, would be forced to, uh, to A, um, start doing everything manually, right? You can't shut down a hospital, especially at two o'clock in the morning. And, and B, uh, to forego uh, the ransom. Uh, the manual process through, through this incident took up to six weeks. Okay, so for six weeks, they were down, they were running their business with manual operations, pushing paper and the like, and, uh, and unfortunately, it was very costly. Um, so how did this happen? You know, sadly, pretty easily. Uh, it was due to a remote desktop protocol and an open port, and the hackers were able to come in via an, a, an easy default password. And once they got into the system, they sat there for a few weeks, explored the network, and then when the timing was right, they deployed uh, a SAM SAM ransomware throughout the, uh, throughout the network. Um, so $10 million in damage later, $5 million of that was, was uh, spent towards hardware and software assistance needed to uh, remedy the, the issue, aka somebody like yourself on the other end of the line had to go in and, and help with, with getting them back up and running. Uh, so good for that company. Um, the other five million was spent on losses, right? Lost productivity, overtime, um, you know, everything that goes with not being able to run your business efficiently with the systems that you're typically used to running your business with. Uh, but for the IT service provider, assuming that IT service provider was responsible for this company, there's that reputational damage that can happen again, right? If they were responsible for securing this company, and they're down $10 million, that, that's, a, that's a tough one for that IT service provider. Uh, if they were, you know, if the, if, the, if the end user, the company, ECMC, would have deemed them as responsible for what happened. So the US Securities and, and Exchange Commission, they recommend a multi-layered defense approach, okay, to, uh, to a cyber strategy. And Barracuda recommends the same thing. And I'm going to walk you through that, you know, the hows and the whys in just a second. Uh, but within uh, Barracuda, I just want to take a second just to, just to explain what our corporate vision is. Okay. Um, I'll read it. Uh, I know you can see the screen. Uh, but to be the leading security platform for today's IT professionals by protecting applications, data, and users everywhere. So what does that mean? So what it truly means is, is Barracuda as a company, we're here for you. We're a channel exclusive company. So you're the IT professionals. Um, today's IT, if we take out the word professionals, today's IT as a manufacturer, as a distributor, as a partner, 
we have to also be uh, forward thinking. We have to stay ahead of the curve, ahead of the waves. Uh, we have to be able to be nimble and uh, and and essentially stay, um, uh, you know, uh, build and continue to expand on our solutions so that we're keeping our partners and customers as as secure as possible as these the new advent of these threats continue to come to light uh, daily. Okay, and that goes beyond just security, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, protecting applications and data anywhere. Uh, the anywhere, it really speaks to um, where, right? So um, you as an IT service provider also have to be nimble, also have to have to expand with the times and, and, and stay ahead of the curve. And, you know, by saying that, what, what do I mean by that? Um, you know, you've got so many things, so many changes out in the marketplace. Right, you're managing multiple sites. You have SD WAN to contend with. Uh, managing apps on the move from on-prem to the public cloud. Uh, the advent and, and increase in Internet of Things and the risks that those devices can pose to, to your business. You have to think about those things. Uh, so you really have to be nimble as well. And uh, and and again, by anywhere, we really mean you know there's there's so many areas, whether on-prem or in the cloud. Uh, data is everywhere, and you need to be able to. It. So uh, the difference with Barracuda MSP, you know, as as a as a corporation, as a company, Barracuda again, channel exclusive. Um, we have the same methodologies and and uh, and uh, sentiments across all of our business, uh, but really within within Barracuda MSP, we're really there to enable you, the managed service provider. Uh, the partner first approach, for instance, um, without, and this, this is cliche, and I'm sure you've heard it over and over again, but it's true. Uh, without your voice, uh, without your feedback, uh, without your growth, our business doesn't grow. Okay, so, um, so we've built IT solutions that are flexible for you. Uh, they include multi-tenant solutions, right? So easy to manage, easy to maintain, easy to deploy. Uh, growth simplified, we've built pricing models that speak to IT service providers or MSPs where most of our products carry a fixed monthly price. Uh, they're billed monthly and they are consolidated into one single invoice. So easy to manage, keeping your lives easier within your, your business, easy to manage your billing, understanding what you're paying for a solution and what you should be charging to your customer and easy on your your uh, your accounts receivable and payable departments your your admins who have to deal with the inflow and the outflow of money to make sure that again your business is streamlined a, a, across the board and we can get into that a little bit more towards the end of the presentation so back to the Security and Exchange Commission, uh, a multi-layer um, of defense is needed. Uh, we truly believe that, and uh, I'm gonna walk you through how Barracuda uh, builds out their, their business, their solutions to ensure that you're covered across the, 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 set, the many threat vectors that are out there um, to stop those, those uh, threats from getting into your customers' networks. Um, those threats include email, right? Those threat vectors include email, application, network, so the edge. They include humans, probably the most important vector to think about. And, um, and we're not going to talk about backup or disaster recovery or BDR, whatever you want to call it today, but uh, we certainly have the solutions in place to, uh, um, to ensure that you know, not every solution's perfect, and most companies will will agree to that, especially with the ever changing and and uh, increasingly sophisticated threats out there. Uh, but you have to have that safeguard of a backup um, in order to get your data back should a disaster occur or, or a threat a threat um, intrude your 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 network. So what is a multi uh, excuse me what does a multi-layered approach look like um, and and let's start with security and uh, security awareness training and email so let's start with the email side of things 
Um, if you haven't already experienced it, you've seen it, right? So e email-borne risks is an as existential threat. How do I secure more than just the gateway? So what I want you to do is think about, you know, are you just securing the gateway today as an IT service provider? And I'll walk you through that in just two slides. So 74% of email, or excuse me, 74% of attacks start with an email. So three out of four cybersecurity threats originate with illegitimate emails. Uh, but these threats take on several vectors. They take on uh, the spear phishing uh, type attack or, or CEO fraud. Uh, they take on uh, attacks via infected attachments or, or phony website links to organizations. Um, so clearly email is, is the number one threat and, and we need to make sure that we're covering all of, all of the cases, the use cases when it comes to protection. So it starts with the mailbox, right? Whether you're on a cloud service like Office 365 or G Suite or on-prem hybrid configurations, the defenses are really the same. Uh, the gateway is, an, is as important as ever to make sure that you have inbound and outbound security. Uh, you're including traditional signature defenses. You have your advanced threat detection, right? So advanced techniques like sandboxing. Uh, you're securing yourself against accidental and malicious data loss with encryption and DLP, and, and, uh, and you're archiving for compliance, right? You're keeping data uh, for, call it seven years, for, for, um, for those compliance reasons as well. On top of that, you need to ensure resiliency. So what we mean by that is backup. In the event of a disaster, a uh, accident, excuse me, accidental or malicious deletion of data, um, you want to make sure that you can get that data back. And then from an email continuity perspective, same thing, right? A disaster happens, you want to make sure that you can get to your email. And that's something that we can provide here at Barracuda, and I'll explain that in a little bit. But beyond the gateway, we need to ensure that we're stopping those emails that don't look malicious, okay? Um, those, those, those emails that come through, they don't have the, the link, they don't have the attachment. There's really nothing in there that says, okay, this is a malicious email uh, that a gateway would, would generally pass through and now it's in your network, and now you're contending with the human element. Okay, so you really need an artificial intelligence solution that can predict how likely an email is to be from the person it purports to be from. And then DMARC to make sure that bad actors aren't send, you know, sending email or spam or phishing attack using your domain or brand, uh, spoofing, essentially. And then, of course, there's the human. There's the human on the other end. The human is the, is the biggest threat to, uh, to email. They're, they're, the, they're the folks, they're uh, my dad. They're the folks that are gonna be clicking on a link that they shouldn't be clicking on. Uh, they're the folks that are gonna be falling for uh, their CEO reaching out to them and saying, we have to transfer $50,000 immediately. Please wire that out. Um, so we have to contend with that human as well. So I'm going to walk you through the, uh, the solutions that help with the email threat vector uh, that Barracuda provides today. And we're going to start with the top. So the top is that human layer, that human layer that, that what we deem as one of the most important layers in, in making sure that, uh, that they're not detonating malicious emails within an organization. Uh, so We've polled a lot of our partners on what they're doing today for email security awareness training. And one thing that we gathered from our partners, and this goes back probably um, gathering survey information over the course of the last year, one thing that really stood out is uh, they're either doing it today or they're not, right? So I'd say probably 25% of our partners are, are do, have been doing some kind of email security awareness training. Um, if they are, and if they've bought into a solution, it's whether or not they're actually acting on that solution. Uh, 
so through that polling, we found that most of our partners um, are spending way too much time building out campaigns for delivery to their customers. Uh, they're finding they're running out of time in building those campaigns, and 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 uh, if they run out of time, they wait till the following month, but they're still paying for the solution. Okay, and in some cases, it was up to eight hours per customer. Our our, our partners were spending with with building out these campaigns and delivering on these campaigns. So what we decided to do, we have a product called Fishline. We decided to make it a managed service to our IT service providers. Okay, so it's not a competitive solution. Uh, again, we're channel exclusive, so this solution is strictly for you as a managed service provider. And what we do is we run the campaigns for you. Um, so really all you have to do is you provide us with your customers' domains, your, those email domains, we build out those campaigns for you, okay? We execute on those campaigns. We start with a uh, spear phishing simulation, and from there we baseline the uh, the company for you, and, and, and we get an understanding of who's at risk within that organization. Um, just so you know, our, our statistics based on our own findings, our own solution, our own data, one out of nine individuals is going to click on a malicious link. Um, so pretty staggering statistic there that we've uncovered. So we'll deliver that campaign for you. We will baseline. We will send out training to the folks who have clicked on the link. We will send out following training to the rest of the organization. And we will generate reports that you can now, as the IT service provider, take, show value down to your customer, and be able to say, okay, here are all the folks within the organization that are at risk. Uh, here are all the folks in the organization that clicked on something, and here's what we need to do. And this is a way for you, if you're not doing it today, to capture that reoccurring revenue stream, right? That consultative reoccurring revenue stream where you can go in, sit down, and say, okay, here are the findings, and let me educate you on, on what not to do when you see uh, an email, any email, really. Um, this is what to look for, and this is what not to do if, if, if you feel it might be suspicious. Sentinel. So now we've covered the human element, right? We've educated the, the human on not to do certain things, not to touch certain attachments and, and the like. Uh, Sentinel is a product that, again, sits beyond the gateway. It is that product that uh, when social engineering attacks happen, so spear phishing, um, that don't contain links or attachments, while they're trying to trick users into doing something. Uh, for instance, Joe CEO reaches out to uh, the admin within finance at 10 o'clock at night. Joe CEO is using his Joe CEO at gmail.com address and says, we need to transfer funds. We need to transfer funds immediately. Um, the Sentinel product is there to recognize patterns. And when it sees off patterns, for instance, Joe CEO never sends emails from his personal email into his network, nor does he especially do it at nighttime. So this product, really, really cool product, uh, Sentinel will quarantine that message. It'll send an alert out to the MSP, out to you, and it'll provide a report as to you know, what we've quarantined, why we quarantined it, and in the event that, uh, that it's malicious, we'll keep it there. Um, if it was a, was a real email, then, then certainly we can, we can pass it along and deal with it then. Um, but very, very cool, uh, cool technology. Um, the other piece to this solution is, is DMARC. So it offers DMARC um, uh, authentication for your customers, which allows you to monitor emails and ensure that, that the emails that are coming from your customers who are trying to spoof your domain, uh, we can understand whether or not it's fraudulent or not. Essentials is really the flagship product of Barracuda. So this is within the gateway, okay? So Essentials started um, really as the spam filter 15 or so years ago within Barracuda. Uh, it's come a long way. We've made a lot of advancements, a lot of developments within Sentinel. Um, 
excuse me, within essentials. And it's, it's uh, grown into uh, a very powerful email solution with advanced threat protection. A uh, lot of cool features uh, that are included within this solution. Uh, so for instance, there's an email continuity uh, feature for emergency failover, which means that whether you're on-prem or in the cloud and your system fails, you can fail over onto a uh, or into Barracuda in the interim until we get you back up and running. Um, DLP and encryption protection. Uh, so we like to say yet, yeah, Essentials keeps all of the bad stuff out while DLP and encryption keeps all the good stuff in. Uh, so imagine you work at a hospital and you need to send sensitive patient information out to other places. Uh, you want to ensure that that information doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Uh, but ATP, you hear a lot of com companies talking about advanced threat protection. Um, you know, they'll talk about the four layers of protection that they offer. They'll talk about why their technology is better than the next technology. I want to sit here and say that our technology is better than the next uh, technology, and we truly believe that. Um, but what I truly believe, we truly believe as a company, and we truly know is that because we've been in business for so long, because we service mid-market companies, small to medium business companies, and we have uh, thousands, hundreds of thousands of solutions deployed and billions of traffic hitting us on a, on a uh, daily and weekly basis across all of our solutions. So I'm walking you through just the email right now, but think about the power of all of our solutions using the same ATP engine, capturing, all of all of um, those threats in the same cloud and all of that traffic from all of those different solutions <clears throat> we feel that that really sets us apart right so we're ca we're uh, capturing so much within our database that um, as as we're as we're comparing signatures we're able to a keep the email really moving quickly for you and b if we do see an advanced threat and we do happen to sandbox it because we have so many deployments out there in the field across the globe, we can get to that um, fraudulent or, or, or cyber threat quickly and start to analyze and, and put, basically put a stop to that, to that threat um, beyond, beyond one instance. Um, so very powerful stuff when it comes to, to the advanced threat protection with email. Includes compliance. Right, so you have your, your law firms that need seven years of archiving. Um, if they happen to be in litigation and they need to get emails, search for emails and get them back quickly, uh, an e-discovery tool that'll help, uh, help those customers get, get those emails back quickly so they can continue on with their litigations and, and not waste any time. Um, and then backup, right? So backup for Office 365, uh, it's a it's a it's a big mover for us, uh, partially because of the flexibility, the flexibility in the retention schedules. Uh, we allow you to to um, you know set your retentions to your needs, so you can go beyond that 30 day, 60 day, 90 day mark. In the event somebody loses data six months back, if your retentions are set accordingly, you can capture that data back. So now focusing on the other security layers. So we just tackled email, uh, the, the vectors within email, and now looking at application security and network security. So partners and customers have to face the collapse of the network perimeter, right? Everyone, including yourselves should be asking where are their applications going to be, where, they're, where are they going to reside in the next few years, right? So we have this shift, this paradigm shift of customers who started on the left side, right? We're on-prem and, and we all have those customers that are probably still out there today uh, that, that are on the uh, keeping their, their feet, their wheels, whatever you want to call them on the ground. Um, and you have your hybrid, right? So you have that, that shift of cloud-based solutions. And in fact, statistically, uh, a company has 11 SaaS-based applications uh, running in their organization today. 
but there's also this shift into the public cloud, and we're seeing that shift start to happen um, and, and, and catapult, right? That shift is starting to really increase more and more on a daily basis, and it's something that we have to contend with um, as IT service providers, and it's something we have to contend with as, as manufacturers and partners and vendors. And with that being said, our, our cloud generation firewall, uh, we've built the functionality uh, to allow you to be able to be flexible with your customers. Okay, so they come in many different forms. They come in a physical form for that on-prem uh, deployment, uh, virtual form for bring your own hardware type deployment, um, and virtual form for integrating with AW, uh, excuse me, AWS, Azure, and Google, uh, giving you the flexibility to meet all of your customers' requirements and use cases. Uh, the firewall, uh, the, uh, the NG firewall by Barracuda was built in, um, let, me, let me step back, it was built with a bank with 600 locations in mind. So back in the mid-2000s, uh, a team of Austrians built this firewall so that it could accommodate one company, one bank, 600 locations. Uh, they needed three main um, criteria for this firewall. Uh, the first criteria was they needed security. It's a bank, right? So it needed to be highly secure. Uh, the next criteria they needed was ease of deployment, 600 locations. We need to be able to get these things out easily. And third was management. They had two IT service providers, IT staff that would be managing these firewalls. So they needed it to be, um, have that centrally managed um, flavor to the firewall. So they really built this firewall for this bank, but in reality, it, it, it almost seems like it was intended for an IT service provider. Uh, so it's, been, it's uh, been a very fast growing solution for Barracuda and especially fast-growing solution for our MSP partners today. Um, comes with that advanced threat protection, uses that same cloud that I talked about just a few minutes ago, uh, has uh, traffic uh, routing, um, SD-WAN capabilities, and WAN optimization, all in one package, again, managed centrally through one pane of glass and all at one fixed monthly price. Um, so really built, built with the MSP in mind. Web application security. So within the network, yes, we're covered. Within email, yes, we're covered. Um, but there's that application layer that we need to protect as well. Um, so the Barracuda web application firewall as a service uh, is a solution that is incredibly easy to set up, uh, very intuitive to manage, uh, and very powerful when it comes to ensuring that um, uh, things like DDoS attacks uh, won't disrupt the availability of your cu customer's web applications, uh, which would obviously have a very serious impact on your customer's business. Um, there's also a tool built in which is called the Vulnerability Scanner. And what that solution does is it's, uh, it provides an automatic vulnerability detection and remediation service that can be scheduled. So it ensures the ongoing protection of your, of your customers without the added work of your team. So, so uh, very, very powerful from, um, and, and that's a free tool as part of the service, by the way. So detecting those vulnerabilities and, and remedying those vulnerabilities within, within um, your applications. Content Shield. So Content Shield, another solution, this is for the endpoint, okay? And what this solution allows you to do, it allows you to uh, essentially ensure that your end users are staying away from malicious sites, okay? So um, keep your end users within the network from going to malicious sites, sure, uh, but content filtering as well. So keeping them out of... Uh, um, you know, surfing for uh, the wrong sites, call it whatever you want, and, uh, and making sure that they're productive during the day. Also great, we talked about it earlier, for the Internet of Things. Okay, so 
Uh, being able, if you see uh, one of your internet or IoT devices pointing to, um, you know, redirecting itself, this solution is perfect for that to ensure that if it's redirecting itself, uh, it's probably a malicious attempt and, and we'll put a block on that and, and stop it. So those are the solutions, those are the layers, um, and, and again, the solutions that will pr help protect those, those, uh, those layers between email, application, and network security. Uh, and again, we haven't talked about data protection today, but certainly, uh, certainly part of our portfolio to ensure that our partners are covered from end to end. Um, within the Barracuda MSP program, uh, lots of other value adds to our services. For one, uh, we have resources. So partner toolkits, okay? So on-demand access to sales and marketing material, online support for your technical needs, uh, for getting certified, uh, for finding answers to questions you may not uh, uh, be aware of. Um, partner onboarding. So when you start off as a new partner of, of Barracuda MSP, we'll provide you white glove service to getting onboarded. So a human, a person will actually sit with you, help you understand the product, help you get up and running with the product, and really give you that first level of training on the solution to ensure that A, you're comfortable, uh, B, you're up and running quickly, and C, you're able to, uh, to understand the solution to continue to, to deploy and grow with us. Um, so very powerful there. Uh, dedicated account management. So you have uh, within the program, you have two dedicated account managers. One we call a partner success rep who's really there to enable you to be successful. Uh, the other is your account manager helping you understand who and what the products do and who the products are and, 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 uh, and you know, getting the right resources for you to understand, um, 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 you know, from a consultative standpoint what you might be missing with your customers to ensure that they're fully protected. I don't want to forget about support. So support is US-based support. I've worked in a lot of organizations. Uh, support tends to get the negatives, right? You, you, as, a, as a sales manager within an organization, uh, within a, a channel-centric organization, I hear a lot of the, uh, um, the not so good stuff. Um, this is the first company I've worked at where I get just as much positive feedback back from our partners about how much they love our support, how well um, you know the person that they dealt with last night, uh, how well they they were able to get them fixed and and on their way and and um, and 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 their you know their pleasant experience within that support. And again, it's U.S. based and it's 24 by 7 support. So again, all these things coupled, we talk mostly about the, uh, the IT solutions, the flexible IT solutions. Um, we talked towards the end here about the partner first approach, uh, dedicated account managers for you, uh, uh, resources for you to be successful, for you to help you grow. And we talked about the simplification of the solutions. So uh, ease of use, ease of management, um, ease of deployment, all multi-tenant solutions, and um, and an easy price model for you to understand and, and uh, capitalize on as, as, you, as you resell your services to your customers. So that's the uh, presentation we had scheduled for us today. Amber, I can uh, go ahead and kick it back to you if you like. Yep, uh, thank you so much, Scott, for joining us and walking us through the portfolio. Uh, I really think it's great to see how the layers build on each other. I'm just going to go ahead and launch the poll I had man mentioned at the beginning of uh, the webinar. And if everyone could just take a, a second or two, answer those two questions we have up there. Um, and I'd also like to give a quick mention uh, just for a moment to the email threat scanner that we have. It's a good way that you can help identify how your uh, network and your partners and your customers' networks are vulnerable, uh, it's free to use, and I'll post the link in the chat panel so you guys can just copy and paste or click directly. Um, again, it's a 
free to use email threat scanner at barracudamsp.com slash scan. It'll go through your current email inbox, show you where your vulnerabilities are, and give you a report back.